Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Honor your father and mother, which is the first commandment, with a promise, that it may be well with you, and you may live long on the earth. You fathers, don't provoke your children to wrath, but nurture them in the discipline and instruction of the Lord. Servants, be obedient to those who, according to the flesh, are your masters, with fear and trembling, in singleness of your heart as to Christ, not in the way of service only when eyes are on you as men-pleasers, but as servants of Christ, doing the will of God from the heart, with good will doing service as to the Lord and not to men, knowing that whatever good thing each one does, he will receive the same again from the Lord, whether he is bound or free. You masters, do the same things to them, and give up threatening, knowing that he who is both their master and yours is in heaven, and there is no partiality with him. Finally, be strong in the Lord and in the strength of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For our wrestling is not against flesh and blood, but against the principalities, against the powers, against the world's rulers of the darkness of this age, and against the spiritual host of wickedness in the heavenly places. Therefore, put on the whole armor of God, that you may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all, to stand. Stand, therefore, having the utility belt of truth buckled around your waist, and having put on the breastplate of righteousness, and having fitted your feet with the preparation of the gospel of peace, above all, taking up the shield of faith, with which you will be able to quench all the fiery darts of the evil one, and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God, with all prayer and request, praying at all times in the Spirit, and being watchful to this end in all perseverance and request for all the saints, on my behalf, that utterance may be given to me in opening my mouth, to make known with boldness the mystery of the gospel, for which I am an ambassador in chains, that in it I may speak boldly as I ought to speak, but that you also may know my affairs, how I am doing, Tychicus, the beloved brother and faithful servant in the Lord, will make known to you all things, whom I have sent to you for this very purpose, that you may know our state, and that he may comfort your hearts. Peace be to the brothers, and love with faith, from God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Grace be with all those who love our Lord Jesus Christ with incorruptible love. Amen.